Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode I want to show you how to do a cool miniature photo. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramini, I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the crazy city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button right under this video. Click the subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a video. And also you can download the source file of this episode by clicking the little download source file button up there or below the video. All right, in this video, I want to show you how to do a miniature photo shoot and the whole workflow of retouching him in Lightroom and Photoshop to get this result. It's just a cool project I did for Halloween. I thought you might be interested. All right, guys, I want to show you how I did this little miniature, uh, you know, small world type of photography and how I did it. It's it's actually very simple. I, I used a very fancy lens, which is, uh, you know, the um, 85 millimeter 1.4, but you could actually do it with like a 24 to 70 because I'll show you a trick to make the bokeh more crazy because if you use it with a lens that, you know, I was open at 1.4. If you were to open, you know, your lens at like f4, you are not going to get the same bokeh. But first, let me show you the setup. So setup is I just bought at Whole Food in USA. You find this in a grocery store. Uh, just a few pumpkin. There was a couple of candles. And then I had an LED string light. You can find this on Amazon for like $20. LED string light. There's many out there. So I just put this in the back. And what I did is... Um, I took a lot of photos. I tried a lot of different setup, but this is the one I actually like the most. So I shot this. I was really on the floor at 2.8. You see, I was not even at 1.4. I was at 2.8, and I was getting this nice bokeh because the light were about you know two meters, six feet away from from the photo. I was making sure that I was you know because 2.8 when you're very close to the object. I was making sure that I was really focusing on the candle. You can see that this is already blurry and that the candle is blurry, but I actually like the idea that the whole foreground here is a little bit blurry, that there's only the candle. I was looking for really a, a Halloween mood. Actually, let me reset this because I what I did is I did some retouching on it a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to reset it. Voila. So all I did is open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. I just add a bit of contrast with the whites and the blacks. That just adds a bit of contrast. And then I added... I think a little bit of magenta overall. And in this case, what I did is I did a little gradient here up there and added some blue. Uh, I wanted some blue against orange. So I added some blue there. And then uh, and then what you can do is make another gradient for the bottom, you know, and add some yellow. So you have yellow, uh, blue white balance on top and yellow. I did that and then uh, yeah, mostly that, making sure that's, yeah, that's about what I did. And then I pressed Command Shift C to, you know, take this. And then what I did, and here's the trick. It's actually a photography trick more than a Photoshop trick, is I took this photo, I completely went out of focus, you know, and you can do that with any lens until I had a big bokeh with the same framing. So I'm going to press Command V so that I have the same uh, retouching that I did. And then I take this photo, so the original photo, actually, let me give it a two star. I'm giving it a two star on Lightroom because I, I did so many tests and a, a second star. So we and I'm going to filter. So we're only going to use this two photo. OK, this one and this one. And what I'm trying to do is actually, sorry, this one and this one. And I want to miss this bouquet. So this one and this one. So what I did is I I take this photo and I take this photo and I right click edit open as layers in Photoshop. And that's going to open both of photos in Photoshop on the same file. So here I am in Photoshop and the top photo is the one that has a small bokeh and the bottom photo is the one that has a big bokeh. So all I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to put the one with a big bokeh on top. I'm going to slide it over and I'm going to lower the opacity and I just want to make sure that the bokeh is at the right place. So it's actually I really had the same framing. And then I'm going to press the Option key on my keyboard or the Alt key on Windows, you hold this, ready for it, and click the Add Layer Mask. And that's going to add a black mask. Okay, then I'm going to take a little brush, B for brush, okay, and I'm going to make sure the opacity of my brush is at 20%, actually no more, like in the, f like about 
and I'm gonna make sure that white is my foreground color. So because I've got a black layer, all this bokeh is invisible, okay? But now if I press X and white is my foreground color and I've got opacity of 50%, I can start bringing in a little bit of the other bokeh. And voila, just to create some magic before and after. So it's really, it's basically, you know, mixing two different exposure, you know, to just make it a little magical. Something like this. And if you if you went too much, you can press X and just bring back some of the original footage, you know, until you've got you they're both mixed up. And then I basically did file close, save, and that's gonna bring that back into Lightroom. And now I usually do like a last I, I look at it and I do some last changes on it once it back is it's back into Lightroom. Okay, I'm back into Lightroom and this time all I'm gonna do is maybe you know, just add a bit more contrast and boost the whites to make it a little bit brighter. Uh, and then I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna crop it 16 by nine. I think it will work better uh, to get more on the subject. And basically that's it, that's uh, that's how I did it. Now, the first time I tried this, I did something a bit different. I, uh, in this one, I basically mixed more uh, the second light. It just depends on your brush, how you wanna use it. Voila, but uh, that's the basic idea. Don't forget, I'm giving you the raw files. You can play around with them. You can even make your own type of photography uh, with it for, for Halloween. Guys, have a great happy Halloween. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did like it, please give it one thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the little subscribe button and the little bell. And also, don't forget to download the source file so you can do your own creation and use it for Halloween. Thank you very much and I will see you in another video.